All right, now that I've got all of the rafters up in place, I need to get the purlins up. Those are the two by fours that go horizontal across the rafters that will put the metal roofing on top of. So this one should go pretty quickly and I can do it by myself. And I really appreciate the help from my brother, Josh and Mark. Those guys helped me get all those rafters up, all the heavy lifting. So now the rest of it I can do by myself or with Kristen and Kayla's help. So first thing we gotta do is I got one of the purlins up and on that one side, there should be two 12 footers and then trim off any little bit of excess on the end. So I'm gonna put that next one up on this side here and then we're gonna measure 24 on center all the way up. So I'm putting these rafter ties in here just for extra um, support or, you know, for wind. Make sure the roof doesn't blow off. first and I'll come back and add more nails in to complete it. I got both sides to do all the way down the back side and across the header in the front. All right, we got two pieces of metal up. It's gonna actually go pretty quick. I'm gonna just gonna put one screw on the bottom, one screw in the top on each, go all the way down, just make sure everything lines up and then I'll come back and get all the screws in. But what I'm doing is each one of these is 
two feet wide from one end to the inside here, and then you got the overlap. So it's like 20, 26 inches, I think. So the first thing I'm doing is marking where the screw hole should be so that they all line up correctly across this way. So when you look at it, it'll be a straight line, you know, zigzagging. So the first one is at three inches and I did on the very first panel I put up, I just lined everything up and made sure that it was all working right with how I've got my two by fours, the purl ends all spaced out 24 inches. So every 24 inches plus three inches is what I'm going for each screw. Um, there is a little bit of an overhang off the back for the fascia on that back side, and that's why there's a little extra there. So I just take my tape measure down and mark every, so four, three inches, six, three inches, eight foot, three inches, 10 foot, three inches. And then there'll be one on the very top top, and there'll be a cap on that peak, so I don't need to worry about that one. We can just put that one wherever it fits with that two by four. So I'll lock that there and come and do this side. So again, at three, two foot three, four foot three, six foot three, eight foot three, and 10 foot three. Don't ask me why I have a purple Sharpie, that's all I could find. <laughs> okay, so that ends the bottom. I'm gonna take this and lift it up there, push it up next to the other one. Okay, Kristen's on the other side. So she's gonna help pull it up. And it's gonna overlap right here. Push a little. Oh, do you need to move your ladder? Are you good? No, I'm good for this one. I'll need to move it. On the next, next one? Time. Okay. So, here's my, I'm lined up, my purple dots. Throw one screw in it. On the overlap here, or next to the overlap. And then Kristen's gonna get that one. This one or this one? The one, this one. Let's try to stay on this side, yeah. Good, okay. So that's all we're gonna do for each one of these panels. Take it all the way down. Um, I'm pretty confident that this is square, but just in case I need to adjust anything, we're only putting in the two screws. Um, and then we can, you know, unscrew it, adjust it. And then we'll come back and put all the screws in the middle. Okay, on to the next one. Well, this is going up really fast. I think we're still lining up pretty good. So good. 